Hey guys, Paradox Seal here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. This is part 17 of our Making a Discord Bot in Python series. And in uh, today's video, we are going to be going more in depth with slash commands. And uh, if you've been watching this series since the first video episode or parts, whatever you want to call it, you may have already known that we have talked about slash commands in the past. I believe we discussed them on part 8, maybe 9, somewhere in that general area. But you may also recall that we didn't really go into much detail with them. We didn't talk about them too much, we just discussed on how to create a command and that's it. Well, in uh, today's video I'm going to be going more in detail with them. I'm going to show you what we can do with interactions, I'm going to show you how to make hybrid commands, and how to even make slash commands in a cog. And uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the benefits of using slash commands and whatnot. Now, uh, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, I'm going to basically refresh on how we create a tree command in our main file. And to do that, what we need to do is we need to go inside of our on ready event. And uh, before our print statement, we need to type in await client.tree.c, just like that. And then we can go ahead and make our slash command. So um, it was just easy as that, just syncing the commands first. And now we can actually make our command. So I'm going to go ahead and type in at client.tree.command. And then we can pass in a name. So uh, I'm going to pass in ping. And then we can pass in a description. So I could put send the bot's latency in milliseconds. Just like that. So uh, we have our name and description of the command, and then we can go ahead and make our function like normal. So sync def ping. Now here is the uh, big difference between a prefix and a slash command. A slash command does not use context. So uh, there is no thing called ctx. We do not pass in ctx in our parameters. Instead, we are going to pass in a thing called interaction. Now, uh, interaction works just like CTX. So, uh, there isn't much of a big difference. There are a few um, things that are different. However, they are very similar. So, I think I think I can only count like two things that are mainly different with uh, interaction and CTX. The rest of the things are exactly the same. So I do keep in mind that we do not use ctx in a tree command or a slash command. And uh, I'm going to write this in a comment right here. So slash commands use interaction and not ctx. So uh, that is something to keep in mind. Now um, we can go ahead and indent and we can just type in await interaction dot response dot send message and then uh, we can type in an f string so we can um, have some stuff written inside our string and then we can just type in pong and then a set of curly braces and uh, inside them we are going to type in round and then client dot latency times 1000 and then we can exit those curly braces and we just type in ns for milliseconds and then we are pretty much done so uh, i'm going to make another comment right here for slash commands we use interaction dot response dot send message instead of ctx dot send so, uh, for slash commands, we'll be using interaction.response.send message. We uh, do not use ctx.send. So, uh, that is one of those two main big differences I can uh, count off right off the bat. And uh, we can go ahead and run our bot now and test it out, make sure everything uh, works okay. So, alright, so uh, our bot is connected to Discord. Now, if I come in, as you can see, it's online. And uh, we also get this little badge on our uh, bot here, and it says supports commands. So these are the application commands. Uh, if you click on it, basically um, it just takes you to this 
article about slash commands and applications and all like the new stuff. Uh, none of it's really important to this video, but basically what is important is we can go ahead and run this command now. So as you can see, I got the name of the command, so pinged, and I got the description that I have uh, defined right here. And then we can go ahead and send the slash command. And as you can see, it responds with pong 49 milliseconds or ms. So our slash command does work, and of course, you can use it as many times as you want. I don't think the ping is going to change because my internet is usually pretty stable. But uh, yep, so that's how we make a tree command. That is uh, what we did in our uh, first slash command video. Uh, now I'm going to show you how we can do the exact same thing inside a cog, but instead with um, a uh, avatar command. I don't know why it took so long to uh, get that out there, but anyways, we're going to go to our cog now, and uh, we need to import one thing into our cog, and we need to just type in from this board import app commands, just like that, and inside our on ready event, before the print statement, we need to type in await self.client.tree.sync, just like that, so that way our are synced once the uh, cog is ready. And then now, to make a slash command, we need to type in app commands dot command, and then we can give it a name, and uh, we can just name it avatar. And then the description can be sends users avatar in an embed uh, sends own avatar if server is left nothing. It's just like that. And uh, we can go ahead and make our command like normal. So it's sync def uh, avatar uh, pass and self and then interaction discord.interaction excuse me. And uh, then we need to pass in a member object. So member discord.member and we're going to set it equal to none because um, we're going to make it optional to actually uh, fulfill that argument. And then um, we're going to go ahead and indent. So we're going to create an embed here. So uh, actually, no. What we're going to do is we're going to write a, a conditional first. So we're going to type in if member is none, then member is going to equal to interaction.user. And an LF member is not none. Member equals member. So we have uh, done our conditionals. Now we can make the avatar embed. So we're going to uh, type in avatar embed. So equal to discord.embed. And our title is going to be an F string. And uh, we are going to type in. Uh, interaction, wait, no, member.name, and then an apostrophe there, and then, uh, we can type in, I guess, avatar, doesn't really matter what you put, but yeah, and then, uh, color can be random, so discord dot color dot random. There we go. And then avatar embed dot set image. URL is going to be enter or member dot avatar. Sorry guys. And uh, we can go ahead and set a footer. Avatar embed dot set underscore footer. Uh, text is going to be uh, f string requested by member.name and then icon URL is going to be um, member.avatar just like that so I think we are good yep all right and then we can go ahead and send it by typing in await interaction.response.send message and then embed equals avatar embed and then we can go ahead and run our command now uh, keep in mind that uh, when you uh, make slash commands inside a cog it does take 
about 30 seconds to a minute to actually seek those commands. So, um, if you're wondering why you haven't seen, uh, Blink is ready or Blink is, uh, successfully connected, uh, for a good while, uh, don't assume it's an error. Just know that slash commands do take a bit to, uh, sync when they're in a cog. So, I'm gonna run this and I'm gonna cut back to, uh, I'm gonna cut to where my, uh, cog is ready, so I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, so, um... My cog has uh, successfully loaded. Uh, it took me about 30 to 45 seconds, I think. Uh, definitely a little bit over 30 seconds. So it should take that about amount of time for you to. It may uh, differ depending on how many slash commands you're trying to sync. Uh, if it takes well over a minute, uh, it might be a good idea to look over your code, make sure everything is correct, make sure there's no errors running uh any of that stuff however uh we seem to be looking golden so i can go ahead and uh, try to run this slash command out now another thing uh to keep in mind is there is a rate limit on uh how many uh slash commands can be added or taken away from your bot and i think that is around 200 uh yeah around 200 can be synced with your bot per day so uh, do keep that in mind if you're adding a lot of slash commands. And uh, also keep in mind that if your slash command doesn't uh, immediately show up, so like mine doesn't immediately show up yet, or now it does, but if yours doesn't immediately show up, uh, don't assume there is an error. Uh, it can take a bit for your slash command to actually be synced and uh, loaded into Discord. So uh, just wait a little bit, maybe come back about 5-10 minutes later and you should be good to go. If it takes longer than 15 minutes, then that's when I would look at the code and uh, make sure everything's alright. See if there's any uh, issues, but we seem to be looking good so far. So I'm going to just leave member blank and then I'm going to see... Yep, so it sends me my own avatar, which is nice. Now if I uh, type in avatar and then me 6... As you can see, it sends me Me 6's avatar, and oh, that is weird. So it looks like we have a uh, issue here. Uh, so we don't want it to say requested by Me 6, because obviously we requested it. So let's see what we did wrong here. Oh, I see. Okay, so I put member.name and member.avatar there, which needs to be interaction.user, and then uh, just like that. So that's how you fix it. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Silly error there. Now I'm going to show you guys how we can make a hybrid command. So uh, I'm going to remove this. That way it doesn't take so long to uh, actually sync. So um, the thing with hybrid commands is uh, you don't have to use a slash with them. Uh, you can use a prefix as well, and that's exactly why they're called hybrid commands. Hybrid commands essentially allow you to... Um, use your uh, prefix for your bot or the slash so uh, that is what I'm going to uh, be uh, doing now I'm going to make a hybrid command and uh, to do that all we need to do is type in at client dot hybrid command and then I can give it a name so a scene or I'm sorry a name not the function so a name I can type in ping and uh, Usually, I think we can pass in a description. Let's try it out. So, description can be uh, sent pong. Yeah, why not? All right. Now, sync. Yeah. Uh, ping. Now, the thing with the hybrid commands is since it utilizes a prefix, uh, we can't actually use interaction with hybrid commands. And uh, the cool thing is, if you rather use CTX, hybrid command supports context so we can pass ctx into here and then we can go ahead and just uh, exit the parameters and then and then we can type in await ctx.send pong just like that and then we're good to go so that's pretty neat um with a hybrid command we don't actually use uh context we just use uh or i'm sorry with a hybrid command we don't use interaction we actually use context with those and uh, to do it in a cog, it's the exact same thing, just um, commands.hybrid command, and then 
a sync def, and then in your parameters you pass in self and CTX, and then whatever arguments are required. But uh, yeah, so uh, the big takeaway is with slash commands, we need to use interaction. Unless your uh, command is a hybrid command, then you can use CTX or context. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna run this now and see if it works. Should be good to go. Yep, all right. So I can go ahead and type in slash ping. And as you can see, it responds. And if I type in equals ping, as you can see, it responds to that as well. So our hybrid command does work and uh, we're all good to go. So uh, that just about does it uh, for this video. Now there is something I wanted to bring up at the end of this video. So like right now, I, uh, I wanted to bring up that uploading a lot to my channel recently has become harder. And um, as my channel grows and as my community grows, I uh, do need a little help here, guys. Um, now I never really liked the idea of me doing this because I don't do YouTube for money. I do YouTube solely to teach people how to code because learning how to program is something really useful and, you know, uh, with how technology is coming around into our world nowadays, it's something that I think everyone should know. So I never really thought of myself doing this, but however, uh, as of this video, I am uh, posting my paypal.me link in the description. Um, if you would like, you can donate me any amount. I uh, greatly appreciate it, guys, and it helps me out a ton. Uh, you are not expected to donate. This is 100% um, solely based off the kindness of your heart. Uh, just know, if you do donate, it helps me out a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. And my Discord server, I will uh, also be um, having a donation wall to where everyone's names will be on said wall. And yeah. Um, it can be uh, your real full name or it can be your Discord name. It's your choice. And you also receive a custom role on top of another role called Donator, which will have access to a uh, private channel where you can donate with other donators and whatnot. And uh, hopefully some other benefits in the future. So, yep. Yeah, uh, donate me, guys. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. And uh, I'll also be listing off uh, some donators at the end of each video from now on as well. I won't be doing it in this video, but I will be in future videos, hopefully. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button. And you already know what to do. Subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton, everyone. And um, leave a comment. Tell me how your day was. Ask me a question if you're uh, interested in wanting to know something. Uh, if you're stuck with code, or if you're stuck with your code, or, uh, you need help with something, or you just simply want to hang out with me and over 100 other people, join my Discord server. We, uh, do all kinds of stuff in there. We love to talk to each other. Uh, we also love to help out other people who are having trouble with their code. So, yeah. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and goodbye.